December 19, incomparable music. The ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Isaiah 35:10. There will be music there and song, such music and song as save in the visions of God no mortal ear has heard or mind conceived. As well the singers as the players on instruments shall be there. They shall lift up their voice. They shall sing for the majesty of the Lord. For the Lord shall comfort Zion. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found there, thanksgiving in the voice of melody. I have been shown the order, the perfect order of heaven, and have been enraptured as I listen to the perfect music there. After coming out of vision, the singing here has sounded very harsh and discordant. I have seen companies of angels who stood in a hollow square, everyone having a harp of gold. At the end of the harp was an instrument to turn, to set the harp or change the tunes. Their fingers did not sweep over the strings carelessly, but they touched different strings to produce different sounds. There is one angel who always leads, who first touches the harp and strikes the note. Then all join in the rich, perfect music of heaven. It cannot be described. It is melody, heavenly, divine, while from every countenance beams the image of Jesus, shining with glory unspeakable. What a song that will be when the ransomed of the Lord meet. All heaven is filled with rich music and with songs of praise to the Lamb saved, everlastingly saved in the kingdom of glory. To have a life that measures with the life of God, that is the reward. Language is altogether too feeble to attempt a description of heaven. As the scene rises before me, I am lost in amazement. Carried away with the surpassing splendor and excellent glory, I lay down the pen and exclaim, Oh, what love, what wondrous love! The most exalted language fails to describe the glory of heaven or the matchless depths of a Savior's love.